All right, let us continue. So last time we did a bunch of politicking and we are, of course, gearing up for our attack on Theodora and, well, after that we should have a relatively free run at a cultural victory. After we slaughter the only person that can actually be cultural back at us. She has the most culture and she's going for similar victory as well, which, in fact, if we really have trouble raising the necessary amount of tourism, we could also kill Venice off, and then, uh, for obvious reasons, we would be really well off. Because we don't seem to have that many people that are that cultural. It's mostly just Theodora and a little bit the doge of Venice. <laughs> Ah, yes. So the plan is to torch everything except two of her cities, Nicaea and Constantinople, we are taking for ourselves. The rest... The rest will burn. It will all... Burn. Okay, I got a great profit. Yay. So just... What does the coastline look like here? I want to know. Yay, cargo ship. Okay, let's find a good trade route. So, from Funkal to Almatai. Okay. City attack. Sure. So, that's one frigate, two frigate, three frigate. Three frigate is not enough. I'm gonna need more frigate. But six frigate is gonna be enough. Very much so. Okay, so that's been evened out. That's good. Yeah, we can continue that deal for now. I'm not bothered by continuing that deal. Ah, he apparently wants cultural stuff as well. Interesting. And the second of these guilds is almost done. Excellent. So, all in all, it's looking pretty good. Chemistry is almost done. Some yields will go up because of it. Again, wonderful. Very nice. So... This will give me salt of my own, this will give me more salt, but I don't really want them for the luxuries, I want them for the cultural slots. She does have galleasses there, which is gonna make things a little more difficult. Then again, I should be able to handle that relatively easily with the vast amounts of naval power I will have. Although, we might have a problem in Vilnius here. We might really have a problem in Vilnius, actually. They might really rip up our trade routes if we go to war. Unfortunately. We may be forced to do something about that. Okay, you, though. You can actually build a museum. You can build me an opera house. Let's just get all of this going. Although, no. Actually, I need to build two more frigates. We'll build two more frigates. We have plenty of slots for now. You needn't worry about that. And you are almost done with that. How's that next writer coming along? Suckly. Wonderful. Alrighty, righty, oh. Alrighty, righty, oh. No, I'm not interested. I'm really not. Yeah, ideally I want to wipe the Byzantines out completely. Just to prevent... Well, just to avoid having to overcome the culture they have already stored up. Although, if I reduce them sufficiently, it won't really matter. If I take these two cities, Nike and Constantinople, they will be pretty crippled in any case, as far as winning tourism-wise is concerned, so... If I do that much, it should be enough, either way. 
Okay, so that looks fine. We're going to actually bring, start bringing our ships back over this way. Because we know what's there now and that should be perfectly fine. And you work on an artist's guild. So how much would it take? A thousand. I don't have a thousand. I would ideally like to build up a thousand before I... A thousand gold before I actually attack the Byzantium. Just so that... But that's 20 turns. Okay, let's see. You have used your gold anyway, so it doesn't matter. You don't have any either. Enrico. You have money. You have... All, you always have money. Good. So that brings us actually much closer. Okay, just keep going. We're gonna send him down here to convert some of these cities. And really that puts our religion into a pretty dominant position. We're actually gonna try and work it in as a world religion at some point. If we can. So, the fleets are coming along nicely. Ah, shit. Oh, Crap. See, this is bad because now if I declare war on her, she'll be pissed. I must either declare war now and be unprepared or... Now I lose all my trade routes if I do. I'll have to wait. Okay, so diplomacy over you. Global politics, for how long? Yeah, everyone's gonna hate me for this, unfortunately. And Austria is at war with Byzantium, they won't hate me. Wow, he doesn't like me financing writers, apparently. Ah, oh, crap, and I would need to... Well, I can wait with the upgrades to cannon, I suppose. I'd need Vilnius on my side because all of my trade routes are going along this coast. I need to control that city-state somehow. Either by killing it really quickly before it can plunder shit or by making it my bitch, so... There you go, you're mine now. What do you want? <sighs> Citrus, eh? Yes, museum, and you can build me an a market, actually, because we are running low on cash money. What about here? Yeah, build a market first, and then you can work on that without any problems. And that's a lot of galleasses, fortunately. She's gonna be so mad when I declare war on her. Oh well, it's nothing I can do. I couldn't afford to do it the nice way. Hence, we're gonna do it the nasty way and eat the consequences. Okay, that's done. Good. Head on over here. I want to be able to obliterate the galaxies with the first volley from all of my frigates, ideally. That might be impossible if they bring up more, but for now I think we're okay on that. It should be perfectly manageable. What? Now, I... Yeah, the game sort of uh, seized up there for a second. I don't... It usually means that they're opening a diplomatic interaction that she's, you know, planning to offer me something. Apparently not. She doesn't want to talk with me, and... Oh, you're kidding me, right? You're fucking kidding me. Still haven't gotten in there. Mostly because I put it on Fortify and forgot about him. God damn it. So, uh, you've been standing there for a while, huh? 
Alright, that's another frigate. Yeah, I'm gonna build markets everywhere because the cash money situation could be significantly better. Okay, you, 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 you are gonna head to Almatai, right? Yes, you are. How much does this cost? 140, that's a lot. Should plunder some of it from various cities. And so, Bismarck. Yeah, you're not gonna be... Yeah, fuck you. You. Truffles. Seven. Good. So, Mary Teresa. Anything you would like to trade for? Truffles? Well, four. Yes? Okay, good. So, Enrico. Ah, you would actually give me money. I'll leave two horses for myself. Okay, what about this? Okay, that's perfect. We can actually upgrade two of our trebs to cannons then, which is perfect. So give us enough to take Nikea with, I think. And then I can just hold at that city while I take Antioch and Essen and just generally wreak havoc across the... Well, across her whole empire, really. God damn it. Fine, just go in there and do it there. Seems a waste, but whatever. Not interested. Yeah, people might really end up hating us because of the killing of the Byzantiums, but... Look at that culture, they are way ahead of everyone else and they are, have all kinds of wonders which I need, I kind of have to kill them. They've practically left me no choice, it's really their own fault. Really. I have few allies, apparently. Somehow. Well, that's certainly fun. Allies are fun, and you're making plus five so you could run even more. Of those, good. Oh, we could spread quite a few Protestants, actually. Okay, looking good. You can too. The two of you can fortify. You are gonna go to... Which is the best one of the available ones? Uh, from there to Munich. Okay, sure. Fine, fine, fine. Yeah, you're actually gonna stay up there, that's fine. Okay, let's uh, diplomacy over you. So, you, at war with Germany, just with Germany. Okay, sure. He turns for that to make its way down there. A bit more than I would prefer. Although I can start with just five, that should not be that big a deal. I mean, it should be manageable. Think. I mean, five frigates is still a major force, and even if I'm unable to attack the city straight away, I can. I will still have to pick off the galleasses before I attack, so. I could just do that. Smart has entered the industrial era, well, good for you. And crap, Frankfurt is gonna fall any day now. It's not so good, actually. We kind of need to prevent that. It looks like it might so very soon be time for us to, in fact, declare the war. Okay. Actually, let's ask him what he would give us for declaring war on the Byzantium. Okay, if I declare war on Theodora, what will you give me this for this? Hmm, interesting. Does not seem very willing to make a deal there. 
strangely enough, one would think that it would be a good thing, right? For him, getting us to enter the war on his side. Oh well, who knows. Could make some more combat units. I might, but I don't feel like I need them quite yet. I feel like I've built up a pretty decent stockpile of military. No majority religion, sure. At the very least it will diminish the power of the other religions in this area. We might want to push out a few of the archaeologists though. Okay, so we are looking at five frigates here, sixth one on the way. It's really looking like the point where we want to declare the war, actually. For one thing, Frankfurt is getting owned. They have a lot of units around here which we could, you know, work at picking off. Well, no, it seems like the opportune time to strike. Okay, Shaka has entered the industrial era. Attila is in third place. Ooh. That's uh, somewhat scary. Attila is a axe murdering bastard, in all honesty. So, okay. One delegate per city state, eh? Okay, I can choose a host. And I will choose Austria because that way they might actually get voted in. And that would be useful because that would make them happier with me, I do believe. Okay, yeah, we're making lots of friendlies with them. So that's six of them. Okay, fine. You get in there and flip it. Good. Then we want to flip Kizil. And then Venice itself actually. It will probably be the best one. And the rest should be converted just in a more... Well, true, just normal spread really. Hey, and once that next frigate arrives, this frigate arrives, we're gonna actually start the fight. I think it's time. Okay, with f f four. Okay, this will give us enough cash to actually upgrade another one of those to a cannon, which is of course awesome. Okay some upgrades there, very nice. Can certainly work with that. Come on, process the turn, be a good little darling. Mm, some markets coming online, more gold! Austria became the host! Let me guess, are you happy with me? We helped relocate the World Congress to their lands. Wonderful. Can't win on our own there, but... Oh, she has frigates. Okay, next turn the war starts, I do believe. You are allied with... Venice, excellent. So they won't join the war on... those bastards' side. Good. So... A shrine there, I suppose. It's sort of a trash city for now, and it's gonna be for a while, unfortunately, since I settled it so late. This should be fine, I suppose. Okay, we'll move you up to there. We'll actually move you right into the city and upgrade you right there. There. Okay. Next turn, we'll finish upgrading that, and everything will be just peachy keen. And then it'll be time to... Oh! Excellent! She's happy with us! Also, it's time for Byzantium to die. 
Yes, it's time for Byzantium to go bye-bye. Very much so. Very, very much so. Alrighty. That's some nice markets coming online, and that's another nice frigate coming online. Okay. Wait, how does this work out? Don't... Uh, oh, I only have five here. I miscounted. My bad. Museum. Museum. And amphitheater. And you need to move down south. How close are you to? Close enough. Oh, you are there. Well, that's fine. We'll just kill them. Okay, you, you, you. And let's start the war. She's gonna be very angry, but we have to kill this giant before she gets too strong. Melima. Allied city states, uh, active deals. Yes. I made a promise and then broke it. I'm a bad, bad man. I know. No choice there, though. Fortunately, that was a strategic necessity to obliterate her like this. It was uh, unavoidable. Ooh, King Solomon's Mines, eh? Hopefully this... A glorified caravel will survive. Okay, and next turn. Let's see what happens now. Germany should be happy with me though, right? Happier. Ooh, they're not very happy at all, are they? Not very happy at all. And they hurt my frigates there, and they have more frigates there. So yeah, we have to clean out their stuff first. And now he made peace with Theodora, so she can focus on me. You little cocksucker. Oh. They declared war on me. Well, that's not very nice, is it? Okay. I... Yeah, you'll have to stay right there. You. Die. Here, though. Uh, opera House. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. It would be a bad idea. Okay, first we pick off the enemy. No, that's not a frigate. First we pick off the enemy units. Where we can. Okay, you need to be right here. Okay, then. You can be here, that will be fine. You can be... Well, that shouldn't matter. Right, I have one here. Actually, yeah, you move here, you move here, you move here, and that should be fine like that. And then I can really move up with four cannons moving into rage in a single turn, and that should be glorious. So... Let us see. Your frigate was bombarded by an enemy galleus. Yes, that is unfortunate. She doesn't appear to have m any more naval units right here. Which is good, we'll be able to attack that city then. Wouldn't count on keeping it minor... Minor liberation. Okay. I'm actually gonna liberate the German cities then to compensate for the 
penalties I will be getting, because I will be getting quite a few. Okay, crossbowman in there, nice. And we have moved into position. Use the crossbows to cover the flanks. As far as that is at all possible, of course. Okay, one here, one moves up here, should be fine. And here, water mill. Here, museum. Looks good. Once this builds the museum, I'll start using Lisbon for actual, uh, what you call it, uh, excavations with archaeologists and shit. Okay, I think I can take the city with what frigates I have here. So we're gonna attempt to do that. You move up to there, you move up to there, you move up to there. You stay right here in as much safety as we can guarantee, though obviously that's not gonna be very much. Still, next turn, we may be able to take a couple of cities. That went to Vilnius. That will do, actually. Okay, you set up. Shouldn't matter that much. What's going on here? Nothing much. Fine, fine. Okay, you kill, you move forward. And you, of course, keep on going. Okay, skip a turn, that's fine. And let's see what happens. <sighs> My musketman was really harshly bombarded there, huh? It's not a good thing, is it? He should look for an opportunity to retreat if we can't take the city in a single turn. Which I think we'll be able to do, but... We'll see how that goes. Yeah, we're gonna restore Germans to some semblance of power, but... They are, of course, gonna... Hope... I'm thinking they'll be weak enough that... Uh, it won't be a problem, and... That is a city-state army coming for me. Are you serious? You little shits. And wow, this is harsh. That's a tough city, huh? Okay, you need to move back. In that case, you can move up to here. I'd rather sacrifice crossbowmen than a really important unit, but better yet, not. I would rather. I'd better yet not sacrifice anything at all, but that may be impossible. And she built some fortifications, or bought some fortifications there as well. Nasty, huh? Okay, you. Oh, you didn't, you dumb pathfinding moron! He moved into range of that city. He's gonna get hurt now, for no damn reason. Frack! Nikea, eh? Okay, the cannon has not died. They have bought up a Byzantine musketman, which is bad news. Okay, industrial era, eh? So, you want peace yet, bitch? Probably not. If I can reduce her to almost nothing, that'll be fine too. Alrighty, it's about time we ended this part, so I'm gonna finish taking this city and we'll... S well... We'll leave it at that. Okay, and... Voila! Damn, and that bitch has... Actual riflemen, huh? Okay, bomb that. As for here, we will move back with the cannon, because that's the same thing to do, and we'll do something like this to prevent them from attacking our cannon with the bloody and deadly musketman. And you can't really fire yet, can you? 
Okay, I'm hoping this works out, otherwise this is gonna be really sucky. Anyway, I'm gonna call it here. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. If you feel like I want to like, be sure to leave one and well, I'll see you guys next time. See ya.